let's learn about planning with ssc what is planning and what are the different different things which we can do with planning so very first thing is what is planning so planning is all about setting strategic goals for a business and then determining how to meet the, those goals by creating annual budgets tracking progress in forecast and simulating scenarios to find new opportunity uh, so there are three critical factors which we should consider while using planning is uh, one is budgets the other one is forecast and the scenarios predictive scenarios we can say which can be useful uh, to set the goals and how we can uh, achieve them three main phases we can say act first is act means we can analyze uh, the information then predict and report uh, all kinds of information we can plan and we analyze directly with the enterprise solution for instant uh, insight to action and we can also visualize performance metrics and that comes in act, act or action uh, parts uh, then we can once we have done all this analysis prediction and reporting and uh, doing some performance metric we need to collaborate continuously collaborate means uh, we need to discuss plans interact on screen crowdsource plans means whatever the plans are there uh, we need to discuss or collaborate with the other uh, business users or other business stakeholders who can uh, contribute uh, to that plans uh, so that it would be um, help to improve the plans and then finally we can become an intelligence enterprise uh, we can uh, based on the planning and the forecasting based on the actual budgets uh, we can become a intelligence enterprise where we can discover top influencers we can augment manual insights uh, and uh, ask questions to get answers this is important uh, uh, in terms of planning three things which is act continuously collaborate and become an intelligent enterprise so uh, that that way we need to use planning for ssc now we can say planning budgeting and forecasting as i said means this is the important three important concepts which is uh, related to the planning the first one is planning where uh, we can uh, provide the overall process for setting the direction and the financial objective what is the possible means what are the things which can be possible uh, with the current business or whatever the planning there then we can uh, based on that we can prepare some strategic plans uh, set overall goals and objective we can have long range plans as well means over uh, three to eight years or uh, ten years uh, or horizon and annual plans as well first years uh, for long range plan so uh, three, three important things strategic plans uh, do some strategic plans then uh, do some uh, three to ten years uh, plan and review your annual plans year on year that is what it is we can do in planning so what is possible will be considered in planning the next one is budgeting in budgeting we need to provide the execution path path for the plan means what is expected what are the things which we can provide for the plan the sales and growth margin budgets capital expenditure budget headcount budget operating expense budget budget is means there are different different uh, parts or the different different uh, persons or areas in the uh, business which can be useful to see means what what uh, what is the budget we can allocate to, to that uh, particular person so based on the actual uh, work we can uh, work out with this budgeting then forecasting is another uh, third one is where we use actual performance data to project reminder of the current year performance so whatever the actual uh, is happening like whatever previously planned and what is it is doing uh, at the moment in the business so based on that dat data we can predict for the next uh, year or uh, next 3 years or 5 years how could be it could be so and if there are any improvement then we can uh, do the improvements uh, based on that forecasting so these are the three important um, topics which are related to planning uh, budgeting forecasting for ssc stories and where sap can help for enterprise so any enterprise means who are uh, what are the areas what are the main business areas where sap uh, or sap antics cloud uh, can help in terms of planning so there are finance sales marketing operations info tech workflows so these are um, that covers most of the or all of them uh, all of the operations of any business uh, which we can say uh, finance is related to the a financial planning sales is related to the sales uh, team or sales uh, how sales is performing sales forecasting is also uh, is done marketing it can help uh, to pricing uh, the trade promotions product profitability loyalty and uh, many other things operations are also thing means how the inventory ma is managed logistic optimization warehouse management demand planning and then infotech that means it uh, resource utilization cost allocations network and facilities workforce means what are the employees or how many employees how 
uh, are required what are their um, performance how uh, the benefits of the uh, staffs can be analyzed and uh, their pension planning healthcare planning facilities planning so all this can provide so these are the areas where sap can help for an enterprise and um, sap analytics uh, cloud planning so this is a very powerful tool i, I would say for sap uh, which sap has come for sap analytics cloud and it will be a very uh, demanding in future that's it from this video uh, we will be covering practical sessions about planning uh, so we will see that as well uh, if you have any questions then please put it in the comment section if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching